welcome back. We'll be looking at harmonic oscillations again. This is part two. And what we're going to attempt to do is find the time it takes to make one complete oscillation, uh, the period as it's called. In order to do that, we'll have to take a real quick look at what we learned in part one. And that was uh, the position, the velocity, and the acceleration. And we're going to be taking the red one here, the position, and the acceleration. And then we're going to combine this with Hooke's law and our good old friend f equals ma and see if we can trick the large t or period out of that. So let's, let's do that. Take away the things we don't need. I said we're going to need the position and the acceleration, so we have that. We also know that Hooke's law was going to play a part. So let's, let's bring this in and take a look at it. We know this from earlier. That's our good old friend from beginning physics. Uh, F equals mass times acceleration. And then Hooke's law is a kind of variation on that. So since both are equal to F, we can do this. And that will allow us to coax out the acceleration by itself, which we do here. And then let's take that acceleration and apply it up here. You see I turned it purple there because the, the purple equation is the one that gives us the acceleration. So when we have this and we see that we have a position right there, which is this, we can replace it there. So we'll do that now. Okay, there we have something that looks rather complicated, but we also know from beginning mathematics that if you have a product and within the product on each side you have the same thing, you can divide both sides by that and it cleans up real nice. So we have a situation where omega squared, which is the uh, angular velocity squared, is equal to the spring constant divided by the mass. Now we know that this is the time axis and one period will be one complete oscillation. Now if we were looking at the circle one that we had in the other movie, we would know that it would go from here all the way around and come back. And that is 2 pi. So in the next step, we're going to apply that. We're going to say that omega, the angular velocity, times the period, which is the time it takes to go one complete revolution, will be 2 pi. Because you're going one trip around the block, all the way around. When we know that, we can take the next step and solve just for omega so that we have uh, rearranging the, the large t here. You're just dividing out the sides there and, and isolating the omega. This goes down there when you're dividing it out. That's why we have that. But now you can see that since omega squared is k over m and omega is 2 pi over t, we can do an equivalence here and take the next step when we say, okay, if one of these is 2 pi over large t, then the square, here, see what I'm going at there? You see the one here is the omega, the omega squared there, and it has to be equivalent to the other side there. If that's, if that's a little fast for you, just remember that we have a single one here, and so this squared has to be equal to what that is since it's already squared, which is that. <laughs> okay, I know I could, you might need to pause it and catch your breath on that one. And that's okay. So once we have that, you can see that now we have an expression with everything that we're used to. And all you have to do is isolate large t there, the period. But we want it on top, of course. So let's, let's do that then. And you get this right here. Um, Again, if that's a little too fast, just pause. You're, you're big boys and girls now. You can do this yourself. So that gives us a new expression for a, a harmonic oscillation where we can extract what the period will be based on its mass and the k value of the spring that we're dealing with. That's very convenient. Sometimes you want, you want to be able to just plug something in real fast and say, okay, one complete oscillation will be 1.2 seconds or something like that. 
All right. I know that was kind of a lot to take in, but uh, I'm hopeful that that will help you, and I'll see you next time.